Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a large IMATS haul with mostly Kat Von D beauty. I did go to IMATS over the past weekend in New York City, so if you would like to see what I got from it, then please keep on watching. I have all of this stuff laid out right here. I got the super cool reusable Kat Von D beauty and IMATS bags. They have the date on them. I had the best time at IMATS this past weekend. I got to meet so many amazing people and uh, if you saw me walking around with two giant Kat Von D beauty bags, yeah, that, that was me. I was that person. So let me show you what I got. Some of these things I was given, some of them I bought. That is my disclaimer. So I'm gonna start with the non-Kat Von D beauty products because most of this is cat. So first things first, I went to the Lemonhead LA booth and if you don't know about Lemonhead, they are a cruelty-free and vegan glitter kind of company. Um, they do two types of glitter. They do space paste, which is a fine glitter that is used around the eyes and the face and the body as well, but it's uh, face and eye safe. So that is what is in these little jars right here. And then they did give me a sample of the Lemonhead um, body glitter. And that is this really beautiful, iridescent, multi-dimensional, bright blue in this little bag right here. I I cannot wait to like smear this all over my body for like pride or something. I think it's gonna be so much fun. I got three of the Space Paste products. I um, have a huge girl crush on Marky Megan on Instagram. Also, I think she's on YouTube and she used one of these Space Pastes for her eyebrows. So just be on the lookout for glitter brows because they might happen right here on this channel. But I got the color Adult Film, which is like a white with really crazy um, multi-dimensional like rainbow shimmer in it. It's really cool. Cool, there's lots of rainbow shimmer in it. I absolutely love this one. Then I got the color Dirty Penny, which is this beautiful coppery bronze. I thought it would look so beautiful with my new hair color. And I'm just gonna put a little glob of that on the back of my hand as well. Very reflective, beautiful glitter. So it's suspended in a gel, so it applies really well and then it dries down at nice and matte so the glitter doesn't move around as much but you don't need a glitter primer it's already just like good to go which I think is so cool and then the last color that I got is this bright ruby red called Roosevelt so this right here is Roosevelt and on my finger right here I'm so excited to play more with these glitters if you would like to see a glitter brow look then leave a comment down below or like this video and uh, there will be some glitter coming your way so the next booth that I went to was Cosette and Cosette do cruelty free and vegan brushes these are two of the eye brushes and I got the S175, which is a really nice, big, fluffy, tapered blending brush. This would be really nice for a big wash of color through the crease. These are so, so soft and so well made. I have been dying to try some Cosette brushes for the longest time. And then I got the D220, which is more of a rounded, bigger, fluffy blending brush. Both incredibly soft, really lovely. Um, I just love the ferrules and I love the gunmetal with the purple. So nice, I can't wait to play with these more. And then I got two eyeshadows from Cosette. I got the color Crimson and the color Twin Flame. And if you guys are like me and are obsessed with Jessica Hayes, she works for Kat Von D Beauty. She is a working makeup artist and she also does microblading. She's the absolute coolest and I did get to meet her over the weekend. So hi Jess if you're watching. Um, but she did a makeup tutorial using the Cosette shadows that are completely vegan and cruelty free and they do reds so I have to try these shadows I'm gonna open up twin flame right now and just swatch it to see what it looks like I mean I already swatched it but this is for you guys this is vegan and cruelty free if you're getting excited for the melt baby girl stack like I am 
um, but you want to do something vegan, definitely check out the Cosette shadows because they're absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to play with these. The last product that I got that's not Kat Von D related are two Smith brushes. These are little lip or eye brushes. I don't think they were designated for anything specific, but I did get to talk to one of the women that worked at the booth and we were talking about lip art, so I just naturally gravitated toward these itty bitty little brushes and these are both part of their vegan line so these are not natural hair brushes they're synthetic I'm trying to not buy natural hair brushes anymore because I don't really believe personally that they could possibly be cruelty free if they're made of animal hair at all so I'm trying to step away from that completely so I have right here the Smith 203 brush which is a lovely teeny weeny angled brush really good for cutting the corners of the mouth and really getting really precise lines. And then I have the Smith 304, which is a very rounded little brush, and I think this will be perfect as well for getting really crisp details on the lips. So I'm really excited to try my first Smith brushes. All right, there is a lot here from Kat Von D Beauty, so let's just tuck in. The first thing that I knew I had to get are products that actually don't launch until the 20th, so tomorrow this is going to come out on Thursday the 19th but uh, they are the 24 hour super brow pomades. And this one is in the color Scarlet, which I will open right now for you. This is the packaging. It's so incredibly gorgeous. It's just a beautiful little glass pot. And there's the brow pomade. I'm so, so excited to try these. So I'm going to be filming right after this a first impressions using this product and I'm going to be doing a brow look. So that will be up tomorrow, the day that these are launching. So you'll be able to check out the video if you want to purchase any. I also got the green, which is the color Lemmy. They're safe to use on the eyes, lips, face, so these are really great waterproof multi-purpose cream products, which are a makeup artist's dream because you can have so many colors in your kit and use them for so many different things, which um, makes them more valuable and means that I also got one other color. And I got the color white out. I thought this was the color bleached, but I still have to buy bleached, but these are brow colors. It's so cool. I'm so excited to play with these and try them out. They are waterproof and apparently 24 hour long wearing and I cannot wait. I have like a little Italian flag here or a little Mexican flag. Get excited because this video of me using these will come out right after this one. So stay tuned to see me using these in action. I got two Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Minis from Kat Von D Beauty and they are in the colors Lovecraft and Santa Sangre. So um, Lovecraft I have in the Studded Kiss formula and I love it. So I'm excited to try the mini of the liquid lipstick. So this is Lovecraft right here, a beautiful muted pink. Got a little bit of brown to it, which is nice. And then Santa Sangre is right next to it. It's a beautiful, bloody, neutral, with a little bit of blue in it, kind of red. Such beautiful colors. Um, I cannot wait to mix these and play with these with my other Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I love the minis because they're perfect to throw into a handbag, and these colors are universally perfect. I can easily keep these in my kit, and I know that they'll look great on anyone. Then I also got two full-size Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in two colors that I've been dying to try. So this is the color Malice, and this is a gorgeous, bright, reddish orange. So this is Malice right here. You can see it's got much more orange to it than Santa Sangre does. Um, so I think it's gonna be really beautiful. I'm trying to push myself in a brighter direction now that I have the red. I wanna do some more like red lips. I think it's so, so flattering with this color. So I got very excited to do that. And then a color I've been dying to try but never picked up is the color Plath. And this might actually be the color of my hair, so that would make me very happy. Plath is described as a russety brown red. And this is Plath right here, which is the exact color of my hair, so probably get used to seeing me in this one a lot. I also got an Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the color Wizard, which is the kind of gunmetal black with a purpley shift to it underneath. 
I've seen so many swatches of Wizard and I don't know how it took me so long to pick it up, but this is Wizard right here. I can't wait to do some lip art with Wizard. I think it'll be so beautiful. I did get a mini tattoo liner in the color Trooper. You guys know what tattoo liner looks like, so I'm not even gonna bother swatching that. I also got some brushes. I was walking around with my girl, Gabby Lampone, who is here on YouTube and Instagram. I will leave a link to her channel down below. And we were talking about nose contouring and how like garbage I am at it because I actually like don't do very precise nose contouring on myself. I can do like beautiful nose contouring on other people or myself, but I just never choose to spend the time. So I take whatever like big contour contour brush I'm using and I just kind of pinch it together and run it down the sides and say whatever but she was telling me that the um, concealer the locket concealer brush is really amazing for nose contouring because it kind of comes up into a point and this is the number 40 brush and it just sits like right in here so perfectly so I'm gonna give this a try and see how I like it but I will stop doing rough nose contouring on myself I promise it's just so quick and easy to do it that way, but I also picked up the number 10 brush, which is the Lock It Edge foundation brush. I think while this is going to be amazing for foundation, it's also going to be great for cream and powder contour because of, once again, that pointed shape. And then I also got the Shade and Light brush. So this is actually specifically for contouring. You have an angled side up here and more of a pointed round shape here that's nice and tapered really beautiful I'm sure for going into the contours but also applying like highlight and blush and loose powder I'm sure this is an amazing multitask brush and the last brush is the shade and light eye brush more of a pencil brush on this side and then a rounded fluffier brush on the other I can't see how this is not an amazing brush I just love having pencil brushes around and then being able to buff that out so I'm very excited to use this. I received another Divine palette and a Studded Kiss lipstick in the color Divine. So I'm going to save these as collector's items because I'm from Baltimore and I think Divine is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I got another container of the Locket Loose Powder from Kat Von D that I absolutely love. I still have one that I'm using, so this one will go into my kit to replace the one that I just ran out of. But Locket Loose Powder is the bee's knees. If you haven't used it yet, please try it. It is the cruelty-free and vegan version of the Laura Mercier powder, except and then I received the Shade and Light Contour Palette. I have had this, I've given this as gifts to people, but I did need a new one. This is going to live in my kit. It is a fabulous powder contour palette. That's all I can really say. I am so excited about all of these products and I'm sure you will see them in full face makeup tutorials very soon. Do stay on the lookout for that brow video launching tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.